It's finally in our offices, Huawei's second half of the year flagship phablet. We've got to spend a little time talking about that one. Carlos Bagnell here for Pocket Now, and it's time to share our first impressions of the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, because this is one sexy, sexy smartphone. This is a trend we absolutely love coming from a manufacturer like Huawei. The packaging and presentation, this experience out of the box is simply fantastic. Not only getting the phone, a cable and a charger, but also, you know, of course, the mandatory headphone dongle since this doesn't have a built-in 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, uh, a pair of ear pod style headphones, and one of my favorite additions on Huawei devices has always been some type of case or cover. You spend a lot of money on a phone and out of the box, you wanna feel like you've got everything you need to take advantage of all of the features of the device. Jumping right into aesthetics and design, this is a sexy piece of engineering. It's this wonderful grown up blend of previous Huawei design accents, looking like the Mate 9 and the Nova series, the visor from the Nexus 6P, all of these little touches adding up to a device which is wonderfully symmetrical. No other flagship right now is doing as good a job of balancing all of these little design elements from the center positioned fingerprint sensor to the sensors in the flash bridging the dual camera lenses. This is excellent design. Arriving at that flashier look, we are using glass. And I'm personally not the biggest fan of glass back phones. I think they're a little too slippery. This is definitely going to be a massive fingerprint magnet, which again, why we're so happy to see uh, Huawei not only include a bumper case, this is a plastic bumper case, but they've moved on from their hard plastic snap-on cases. This is a slightly more absorbent and flexible skin to protect your Mate 10 versus the hard plastic snap-on shell, which I did actually snap one of these. I did crack one of them on my Mate 9. So this is another excellent consumer evolution. Titanium gray is a great look for this phone and uh, it's just got a really nice feel in the hand. We're talking about the two by one aspect ratio for this display, bringing it right in line with phones like the LG V30 in terms of size and, and how you need to move the device around in your hand to navigate the UI, reach your notification shade or those bottom mounted controls. Huawei opting for a full HD OLED panel 2160 by 1080, it hasn't bothered me in this first day of use. One thing I will be considering is what effect this might have on something like VR, where current Samsung and LG flagships have actually been kind of fun to throw into my Pixel Daydream uh, VR viewer headset. It's one of those situations for daily use, you're not really missing out on anything, and even scaling this down into the low power 720p mode, screen still looks pretty good. I've already thrown on a couple of my favorite games, and performance is about what you would expect for a modern. 2017 flagship. Uh, grinding Marvel Future Fight for a couple hours already. Uh, battery life actually does seem to be just a little bit improved from where we were on the excellent Mate 9. So the die shrink on the Kirin 970 CPU does seem to be bringing some power efficiency to the table when we're also talking about a premium phablet with one of the largest battery capacities available. I was a little concerned where Huawei was going with some of their power user features on the P10, but I am ridiculously happy to point out that this phone does have an IR blaster in a household where my precocious toddler likes to hide the TV remote and we can't quite do everything through Android and Chromecast plugins. It's nice just to have the raw power to change channels, turn the TV on and off or control the volume. Yesterday, for example, our TV remote was in the Doc McStuffins checkup bag, which it did take us a little while to ferret out where she'd hidden it this time. And we're nowhere near completing any kind of real camera review, but I did have to take the dual shooters out for a spin and everything that I love about Huawei plus Leica cameras is on display here. Not to mention some of the best portrait mode cutout work I've seen from any current flagships. Fairly busy background here and the Mate 10 Pro did an excellent job of cutting out around not only my face and my headphones, but also my flat cap. Lastly, the early impressions on audio are a little bit mixed. What's interesting is the Mate 10 Pro seems to use some kind of analog pinout for the 3.5 millimeter headset. It, it is actually compatible. This phone actually is compatible with Motorola's solution 
for a headphone dongle, so the dongle does not act like a USB audio device. But the headphones are recognized as a USB-C audio device. They do have their own DAC and amp built into this plug, so when you move this port from the phone to a laptop with USB-C or another USB-C phone, it will show up as a proper USB audio device. That'll be a little confusing for folks on some kind of legacy USB gear. This isn't gonna work like the Google Pixel 2 headphone dongle, where you can take the headphone dongle directly to phone to laptop without having to unplug your headphones from the dongle, but at least there was some consideration for how folks might use a USB-C audio device on the headphones. One step forward, one small step back, but ultimately we are seeing progress on Android devices properly supporting USB audio. So we'll call that a thumbs up-ish for now. Folks, this phone gives off a stonking good first impressions. We're gonna be digging into this phone much more aggressively, testing out the cameras, testing out the battery life, testing out the audio and the stereo speakers, and we're gonna report back with a full review coming up right quick. If you have any questions about what to cover for the Mate 10 Pro, especially as we're getting into the end of the year, what phones you might wanna see it compared against, definitely drop us a comment down below this video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our developing Mate 10 Pro coverage and help us out with a share on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.